Let's duel! I'll go first. I've got to play carefully. He'll have a deck full of cards I've never heard of before. I draw. I summon X-Head Cannon in attack mode. Next, I activate the continuous spell card, Frontline Base. While it's on the field, I can special summon a Union Monster from my hand once every turn. And I'll use it to special summon the Union Monster, Bee Buster Drake in defense mode. Union Monsters have the ability to equip themselves to other monsters, and that's just what I'll have it do. Bee Buster Drake, arm yourself to X-Head Cannon! Now, show me what I've been looking for. You're definitely from the past with ancient strategies like that. It's my move! Since you control a monster and I don't, I can special summon Vice Dragon, but its attack and defense will be halved. Now I normal summon my Tuna Monster, Dark Resonator. You said you wanted to see how we do things here. Well be careful what you ask for! I'm about to show you something you've never seen before. I'll use Dark Resonator to give Vice Dragon a Tuna! The King's Determination is conceived with a flame that burns red and becomes a Crimson Blade! Appear from beyond hot waves! Synchro Summon! The Burning Fierce God! Crimson Blader! What say you to that? <laughs> That's it! That's the power I've been searching for! That's what I can use to defeat Yugi! What's so funny? Listen up! When I win this duel, you'll teach me this synchro summoning or whatever you call it! Fine, but if I win, I'm taking your three of a kind, legendary, blue eyes white dragon cards! My blue eyes? Huh? I've come this far, and I'm not about to turn back now! You're on. Well, with the wages in place, I bet I get to work! Crimson Blader! Take out his X-Head Cannon! Oh, and by the way, when my Crimson Blader destroys a monster, it prevents you from summoning level 5 or higher monsters during the next turn! What?! So, even if you do have a Blue Eyes in your hand, I guess we won't be seeing him anytime soon. I wouldn't be too sure about that. Bee Buster Tree can save my X-Head Cannon by sending itself to the graveyard in its place. <sighs> so you can still play high-level monsters on your next turn. Glad you're following, because there's still more! When Bee Buster Drake is sent to the graveyard, it lets me add a Union Monster from my deck to my hand. And I choose W-Wing Catapult! Looks like you're not quite as behind the times as I thought. I place two face downs and end my turn. Time to see what these Synchro Monsters can do. I draw. First, I play my W-Wing Catapult in attack mode. And now, it's time for a change of scenery with this Union Hanger Field spell. This hangar is full of my combining machine monsters just waiting to be deployed. In fact, just by playing it, I can add a Union Monster from my deck to my hand. And so, I add Y Dragon Head! And thanks to Frontline Base, I can special summon it right away. That activates the second effect of Union Hanger, letting me equip my Y Dragon Head with a Union Monster from my deck. Y Dragon Head! Union Connect with Z Metal Tank! Big deal! In case you haven't noticed, my Crimson Blader is still stronger, so forgive me if I'm not impressed. Then keep your eyes peeled, because I combine X Head Cannon, Y Dragon Head, and Z Metal Tank. Behold, my Mightiest Machine Monster, XYZ Dragon Cannon! All that work just to play a monster with the same attack as my Crimson Blader. The game of Duel Monsters sure has come a long way since your time, hasn't it? I guess the history books forgot about this move. XYZ Dragon Cannon lets me discard a card to destroy any card on the field. Oh no! And I choose your Crimson Blader. Now I've got nothing to protect me. Not so outdated now, is it? XYZ Dragon Cannon! Attack Jack directly! Not so fast. At least, not as fast as me. I activate my trap! King's Consonance! As the king, my monsters live to serve me. Or should I say they unlive to serve? Because with this card, I can secret summon by removing monsters from my graveyard from play. So I'll doom Voice Dragon with my Dark Resonator one more time! Witness as great power is fortified into a single vessel. As might becomes even mightier, I synchro summon the Red Dragon Archfiend! 
Now I have the strongest monster on the field. So attacking me is pointless. I set two cards face down and end my turn. Ha! Yeah, I'm in charge now. I draw! I summon my twin sword Marauder, and I'll use him right away to attack your W-Wing Catapult! Ugh! I can take more than that! For your sake, I sure hope so, because here comes my Synchro Monster to take down your Dragon Cannon! Go! Red Dragon Archfiend! Scorching Crimson Flare! You've activated my trap card! Roll out! It lets me give my XYZ Dragon Cannon an upgrade by equipping it with the heavy mech support platform in my graveyard. And that gives it a 500 attack point boost, making it stronger than your Red Dragon Archfiend. Time for my counterattack! XYZ Dragon Cannon! Take aim at a Synchro Monster and take it down! I activate a trap of my own! Red Cocoon! He activated a trap, but his monster was still destroyed and he took damage. What could that trap have done? Confused about that trap I played? Don't worry, it'll all become very clear quite soon. I set one card from my hand and end my turn. But before you have your go, Red Cocoon activates at the end of the turn it was sent to the graveyard. It hatches to resurrect my dragon. So return to the field, Red Dragon Archfiend! I've taken down your Synchro Dragon once and I can do it again! It won't be so easy once I activate this! The trap card Fiendish Chain! It locks up your XYZ Dragon Cannon, preventing it from both attacking and using its effects to destroy my cards. Hmm. <laughs> I play the spell card Pot of Greed to draw two cards. Since my XYZ Dragon Cannon won't be able to attack, I may as well unequip the support platform and have it return to the monster zone. And with Frontline Base's effect, I special summon A Assault Core! Prepare yourself, Jack. You're about to witness a monster I'm sure you thought was long gone. I tribute my A Assault Core and Heavy Mech Support Platform in order to summon Blue Eyes White Dragon! Incredible! There hasn't been a trace of a Blue Eyes card in decades. If there was any doubt that you are who you said you were, they have been completely wiped out. Huh. I can't wait to take it down take you out, and then take them for myself. Then I'll be the one with those legendary dragons. You can daydream all you like. Meanwhile, I'll use the effect of the 8 Assault Core I attributed to add W-Wing Catapult in my graveyard back to my hand. It's time for this guy to see what he'll be missing out on once I win this duel. Blue Eyes White Dragon! Attack his Twin Sword Marauder! White Lightning! Ah! It's your move. That is, if you still want to continue. It's time to see which of our dragons is stronger. It's my move! I summon Chain Resonator, and it lets me fetch another Resonator monster from my deck. So say hello once more to Dark Resonator! You know, Kaiba, since you're so fascinated by Synchro Summoning, I figured I should let you in on a fun fact about it. Enlighten me. There's more than one kind of Synchro Summoning. What? What do you mean? Why don't I just show you? I double tune my Red Dragon Archfiend with my two Resonators! Double tune? That's right! Behold as the stars high above in the sky and the fire deep down below in the earth collide into a cosmic explosion to Synchro Summon Red Nova Dragon! My dragon can't be destroyed by any of your card effects and it gains an extra 500 attack point boost for each tuna monster in my graveyard. 4,500 attack points? Impossible! It has even more attack points than the Egyptian god Obelisk would! Correct again, Kaiba. And I'm going to use every one of those points to obliterate your XYZ Dragon Cannon! Burn into the ground! Red Nova Dragon! Burning Soul! <laughs> All you have left is your favorite monster, Blue Eyes. At least this way he'll be with you till the bitter end when I end this next turn. Enjoy your last moments with him. This duel isn't over yet. I will take down your dragon, and I will win this duel. I draw! I activate my trap card, Union Scramble. With it, I can summon the three remove from play machine monsters, X Head Cannon, Y Dragon Head, and Z Metal Tank. And they will once again combine to form the XYZ Dragon Cannon. Why did you pay attention to what I said earlier? 
Red Nova Dragon can't be destroyed by your con effect, and with its measly attack strength, it's practically useless! Are you done talking? Because I'm not finished yet! I summon the Tiger Jet! And use Frontline Base to special summon W Wing Catapult! And these two monsters can also combine into the BW Tiger Catapult. Finally, these two combination machine monsters now merge together to form the ultimate union combination monster, V to Z Dragon Catapult Cannon. All that, and you're still not strong enough to challenge Red Nova Dragon. It doesn't have to be. V to Z Dragon Catapult Cannon can use its special ability to banish your Red Nova Dragon from the game entirely. This can't be! I'm wide open now! Who lies, White Dragon? Attack directly and end this duel! <laughs> Even with your future cards and techniques, you couldn't defeat me. Although, I will admit that your synchro summoning was impressive. Perhaps wielding in the right hand, such as my own, it could prove quite useful. I can't believe I lost! You really are as good as they say. Well, I'm a man of my word. I will teach you how to synchro summon.